we don't have to watch this now, but you guys, I'm so curious. I am, I am, I, who, who is the most dangerous villain? I'm extremely curious. Yeah, see, me too. Cause like, how bad is this person, right? Is like the most evil Thomas the Tank Engine villain like just like cocky? And he's like, oh, I can move the most freight. Thomas was disturbed. Or is like one of them actually actively crashing into other trains? You know what I mean? It's like one of them a serial killer, but a train. Cartel train? Hey, they're gonna get it from somewhere. I don't really care where. I might as well make me a pound. How is it getting the Mexican cartel in Britain? All right, whatever. Who is the most dangerous Thomas the Tank Engine villain? I must know. Around the years, the Thomas the Tank Engine franchise has featured a multitude of villains and antagonists. Oh, he's the most evil. That guy's the most evil. Oh my god, look at his face. That's me. That's me when somebody offers a considerable serious threat. However, who <laughs> that guy's is the, the most, most dangerous. dangerous? That guy. But it was too late. Look out! No! Not out of the boat! Oh my god! What a disaster! Percy! Percy did that! I think Percy's the green one, right? I had a cousin who was really into Thomas the Tank Engine. Percy! Beginning <laughs> with some of the easier antagonists. Bulgy, the horrid lorries, George, Borstrode, the spiteful brake van, and Class 40. It's like the opening to a Souls game. These are all the people I'm gonna have to take their, their coal soul from. <laughs> Even leading to reckless incidents through their selfish oh, and immature actions. That was selfish and immature. Thankfully, You're these characters were eventually tunnel. put in their place Foolish. and punished for their transgressions mm, by good. either being sent away or taken out of service, <laughs> making the punishments very satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this guy's face is unlike any of the other ones. It's like way smaller. It's like this is a. It's kind of scary on this guy. It's time for Steely Spencer to hunt for clues. <laughs> oh, he's Spencer just a detective. is a streamlined tender engine owned by the Duke and Duchess of Boxford. He's usually characterized as arrogant and conceited, uh -huh. having sly ways to get what he desires. But he's not dangerous, right? Basically, he's more of a pain in the bump than dangerous. I get a pain in the bumper, you might say. At the caboose. <laughs> no! What the fuck? Just hit that dude's right. What is this guy's problem? Oh dear, shorty. Looks like the race is over for you. Why <laughs> is this guy being an asshole? Vinny's physical strength and willingness to harm another engine illustrates <laughs> just how menacing he is in comparison to Spencer. Yeah, Vinny's a piece of He may of shit. have a menacing presence, but aside from being a bully, there's not much to his character. Well, that's pretty bad though when everybody else is friends, you know? A friend <laughs> That's really good. Two diesels approached. Two diesels? Oh no, the diesel bros. Got ya this time, Stanley. Their menacing presence earned them a deadly reputation as deadly? the green messengers of doom as they enjoyed scrapping engines. They even expressed desires to scrap Oliver and Fergus, who Not got Fergus. away from them before. What is Fergus? What kind of train is this? Fergus is fucked. Yeah, look at he's trying to be Thomas so bad. He try, he want to be Thomas so bad. Look at my boy Fergus, bro. Like <laughs> Frankie and Hurricane are the antagonistic pair featured in Journey Beyond Sodor from 2017. She seems nice. They keep Thomas and then later James hostage, not allowing them to leave. Hostage? It really is kind of fascinating how you can create like a story and a world and a mythos in Thomas the Tank Engine when everything has to be on rails? Like, you can't just go somewhere, right? You can't have an episode where Thomas goes to uh, Australia or something, right? There's gotta be a murderer. This guy kills people. Oh my God, he's gonna kill himself. Jesus Christ. What is he doing? Stop! Diesel Teb is one of the most iconic villains of the Thomas the Tank Engine franchise. Diesel Teb? Inherently <laughs> diabolical. Iconic villains of the Thomas the Tank Engine franchise. I think that's upscaled Alec Baldwin. I'm 90% sure that's Alec Baldwin. Yeah. <laughs> but he's like upscaled here, so it kind of looks like 
if you put the Wizard of Oz into Mid Journey. Look at the Technicolor. His goal was to destroy Lady the Magical Engine, which would result in the destruction of all other engines. What? We did a whole video about Is she this. God? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that was my next question. I'm going to have to watch this on my own time. He's the Joker of Trains. While he's only ever made a movie appearance, Diesel 10 eventually made a reappearance in season 17 as a Christmas ornament thief. A huge downgrade <laughs> oh, from a no. once pure villainous Come on. character. He's just Nevertheless, stealing prizes? Diesel 10 is without a doubt the most dangerous engine in the entire franchise. Is he? If he's only stealing some ornaments, I don't think he's up there, right? There's gotta be worse. Oh, here we go. There's another one. Hold on. Having left the force with a less than honorable discharge and eventually making his home on Sodor, John spent many years searching <laughs> wait, for a long... Wait, so boat... Okay, living boats don't have gills? That's a horrific life. I would just swallow salt water. I mean, fuck it. <gasps> Kill me. That's hell. You're just constantly going down and up, having to come up. You have to talk to... That's, that's bad, dude. Do they need oxygen? <laughs> Uh, th this is this is a cruel trick by a by a mean god, I think. John continued by blowing up Napford Station in an attempt to obtain the treasure in the vault. Thomas started chasing Sailor John, only to face John's violent ability to hinder Thomas. Oh, what he does tried he do? to hit oh and derail Thomas, and even attempt oh. to blow him up with dynamite. Oh God! Look out, but Thomas! All his efforts were in vain. Thomas, watch out! Sadly, Thomas couldn't stop John. The excess weight caused by the treasure load made Skiff tip over into the rough waves, the treasure oh. being too heavy in the water for John to save. And then John died. Sailor John was arrested that morning. A police boat. <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny to me. Everything, everything, every mode of transportation is sentient. Don't a cab post. He's a fucking boat. He can't help it. He was built that way. <laughs> He didn't even get a choice. All cops are boats. A bab. <laughs> All right, uh, I got another movie. Do you guys know The Rock had a PS2 game? Spy Hunter. <laughs> yeah, this is back when he was the scorpion guy. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone kind of knows what you mean when you say something has. Oh, da oh, that's not energy. a person. <laughs> Look at this PS2 game. Metal finish, too cool oh, for school, slanted font, big blue, angry looking The Rock, shiny sports car with guns attached, 2006 energy, right? Wait, 2006? I thought the PS3 was out by then. That's late. 2006 PS2 games have their own certain energy, too. <laughs> what kind the of a 360 gun is... was out. How is he the... holding it so high up? I was holding a gun like this. Where all of these games kind of felt like PS3 games that were stuck on the PS2. <laughs> In the same way, early that PS2 Scarface? games can oh, feel damn, like totally PS1 games crazy. with better graphics, late PS2 games often feel like clunky PS3 games with worse graphics. Wait, Daniel Craig was on the PS2? Oh my god. You ever have like an idea of what time is in your head and then it just kind of gets, oh yeah, these things existed at the same time, you know? Didn't anyone ever tell you it's rude to point? That was really good, Rock. That was really funny. Very, very good uh, one-liner. Not only because of the most electrifying man in sports entertainment, but because it <laughs> aims oh! a bit higher where on top of the driving, it throws in on foot missions with third-person shooting and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yo, throw his ass! Get him, Rock! Signature wrestling moves, yeah! Which means you can rock bottom people and you'll want to. Do it! Yo! Oh my god. That guy died on impact. Oh my god, look at the rigor mortis set in immediately. Watch his arms. Dude, he's dead now. He's already dead. Look at his he's just, he's gone. It's easy to If I was the other guy, I would run. Oh no, look out. Boom! <laughs> Still leaning wrestler first, movie oh star god. second. The guy has a gun. They sent you to kill me? Nothing personal. Just following orders. What was that unzipping noise? Wait, like, what did he I, do I've there? Yeah, like ten times, and I still can't figure it out. My theory is that he was meant to rip off his mustache, but for whatever <laughs> reason, there was never a non-mustache model made for him. So you had to load it two different things. And okay, the sound effect, yeah. and it's amazing. Nothing personal. Just following orders. <laughs> was he supposed to wear a mask? Maybe. You got crazy ragdoll physics, giant mech enemies, a sexy scientist. You got the chain-wearing, open-shirted, scar-faced <laughs> villain guy. You got. 
a big blue picture of the rock for some loading screens, mm. and you got these brilliantly loud Oh, that's the noises. loading screen? I'm gonna get... <laughs> oh my god! That was not a light punch! With a good amount of <laughs> physics objects and destructible bits in every room, there's a Jeez. simple cathartic joy to smashing enemies into all the down. shelves. Throwing dudes off Dude, balconies or off the side of a boat is a delight. And, and, and there's such a cheese to the this way you just great. grab guys above your head like a wrestler would. I love this. Oh, not it's again. It's very Boom. exploitable Brain in that you can just trivially spam the same moves over and over, but it's fun in a basic... Bro, this guy was computing. His ass didn't hear any of that. What was he doing? In a basic, <laughs> cathartic, punchy way. Oh no, he's so dead. Speak. Oh my god, I think he snapped his neck. Deleting his browser this game history. Is he knew he was dead. The Rock is in the room with a gun, killing all of your countrymen and comrades behind you. Fuck, I gotta get rid of this. <laughs> no one must know. What was the last game like this? Kane and Lynch is the last one I remember. Damn, really? Like, this is like a Max Payne like is fast. You know what I mean? It's that shotgun sounds like he's hitting the vine boom. I love the first time the bike <laughs> is revealed where you speed away from a missile. Yo, wicked. The tunnel. It's so Holy corny. shit. And these driving sequences are this challenging, rules. but not too challenging in a way that's not totally mindless, which if you could own any fictional gun, assuming they're legal, what would you own? Oh. So when I was very young, there's a South Park game for the N64, but there's a cow gun and you shoot the cow and if you hit the person with the cow it's a one hit kill because the cow the cow sits on their head and your head goes into the cow's butt and then you suffocate so you die it's a one hit kill why would you want this if you could get any official gun hey i wasn't really answering the prompt i don't <laughs> i don't know if that's the one i would want that's just the gun that i think of when i think about video game guns why was the rock in so many movies like this what was going on there? He fits the bill? Yeah, but anybody could fit the bill. Bro's just in the jungle all the time. This could be any one of like four movies. Yeah, I, I don't understand what was going on there. So Batista really wants to be an actor, right? And he hasn't really had like a shot or whatever. And somebody on Twitter said that Batista should be the next like Arnold Schwarzenegger in that he is playing like normal characters, like normal guys who just happen to be fucking jacked as shit. <laughs> like he's just a normal dude, but he happens to be just an absolute mountain. Like in Total Recall and uh, Jingle All The Way and stuff, like these movies where they make no mention of the fact that there's this mountain hulk of a man, a buff ass mailman, yeah, for no reason. He's just a normal ass guy and nobody ever points it out or anything. I think I asked this on stream before and somebody figured it out. I think we talked about this. What did they mean? What does this mean? <laughs> but I think somebody got it before. It's not Bond Burger. That's too obvious. Silently pounded. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it was on the stream. Because he is a silencer and it's a quarter pound. It's not Bond Burger, clearly. The creator confirmed it's Bond Burger. What do you fucking mean, the creator? This got posted on 4chan in like 2004. <laughs> there's, no, there's no creator on this. What are you talking about? Huh? Anybody could say they did it. That's always embarrassing, right? When you see somebody who's like, I made the troll face. It's like, come on, dude. <laughs> like Keep the guy who made Pepe? No, that's way sadder. <laughs> The guy that made Pepe, that situation is really sad. Because he wasn't... It's not like he was on an anonymous forum or something. He made a character literally in a comic. And he was like, hey, please stop putting him in these situations. They're like, fuck you. He's racist now. <laughs> he's like, no, stop. <laughs> Poor Pepe. But he's been reclaimed, I think. One moment, you're rock-bottoming bad guys on a boat. Oh, not again. Boom. Shooting your way through the jungle, <laughs> then sneaking past lasers, then doing burnout takedowns, and then fighting your way through the this ice rules. caps in a speedboat, then... Through someone's mansion villa, then you're fighting <laughs> a mecha lighting? crab thing. Oh, then not on the Don't of put him on the bed. Mecha crab put thing the bed. and start shooting all the other mecha crab things in a first person gladiator Yo! mecha crab fight where you become the best mecha crab of all the mecha crabs and you're the rocket. Oh no, he's doing it in a pose. That's how bugs die. <laughs> Just with the arms up. You know what's weird? I think about that about PS2 games a lot, which is like, it was like an era where. 
there was like a core gameplay loop where it was like platforming or shooting or whatever. And then there'd be like ten different little mini games that you do like throughout the story. Time it was, was a novelty an back then. Maybe when this was I think it was like the release. the idea it's of the possibility. Now that it's a like oh, you could put back in time playing poker in GTA. Wow, that's crazy. A fast and, loose. And, and now it's like enough obvious, little you know? highlights and fun moments to keep you going, like that mecha crap. Kingdom stuff. Hearts did that, and I hate it. Mallory's playing through Kingdom Hearts two now. She's stuck in Bell's castle. Because she's getting annoyed. There's so much stuff. Every game had a boat chase level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every game had a boat level to, like, show off the water stuff. You're taking down a boss by crashing your car into their helicopter. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, and then it hard cuts to a loading oh, he screen. Lived. Then okay. suddenly you're sieging a house with no real explanation <laughs> as to why. The yeah, it went straight from the car to this, this siege happening literally moments away. Old games love the sewers. I think all games love the sewers. Yeah, the Elden Ring sewers are like a plot point too, right? Sewers is genuinely my favorite area in Elden. That's weird. It's a weird thing to think and a weirder thing to say out loud. Keep that to yourself. Don't tell anybody else. They're going to judge you. That's crazy. That chatter is Miyazaki. <laughs> Miyazaki spotted in chat. Banjo has sewers? PS2, Banjo B does game. have sewers, Time actually. Capsule. That's true. Do you like ice levels? No, not really. I think I hate ice levels because I hate ice. I hate the cold. So I think it's like, it kind of it kind of spills over, you know what I mean? Watch the train god? No. 